Hello, it's a terrible night for cursed tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest II on the Super Nintendo Remake with me, Blue Ankylo. The fan translation, so some of the names are a little bit weird. Anyway, last episode, Rolando was struck down by a terrible death curse and is sleeping it off in uh, the town of whatever, this place has a weird name. This town. Anyway, um, we have learned that perhaps a Yggdrasil leaf will be able to revive him. So, that's what we shall try to do. Unfortunately, uh, with our party shrunk, we are definitely at a disadvantage here fighting enemies with just Blue and Linda. Um, I mean, Blue is tough, and we did just buy him a new sword. So, like, he does a lot of damage. But it was sure nice to have two people that could attack and kill stuff, basically. So, anyway, we're probably not going to do a ton of uh, combat while Rolando's away, and uh, we'll maybe just try running for a while. We'll see. So, from here, we've got our ship, and I'm just going to have a quick look at the world map to get our bearings. I'm going to go south first and check out that tiny little island, and then I'm pretty sure the world wraps, so I'll head west, and then north to the circular island on the east side of the world. That's the plan. And I might throw in some frame skip every now and then. I don't really want to fight these guys. So that island is nothing. Alright, so we'll go north a bit. And then keep going west. These guys look scary. Let's just run. Or sail. Whatever you want to call it. Those guys aren't terribly dangerous. Okay, we found an island. Let's get our bearings again from the island. I'm so glad we have a world map. This makes things so much better. Okay, so I missed a couple small islands to the southeast. That's okay, I'll go back later. We'll do a proper world tour at some time in the future. All right, here is an island. And I think this is the only way in. So let's go see what's over there. I'm not 100% sure this looks like a tree. Well, it doesn't look like a tree, so maybe this is the wrong spot. I don't know. Welcome to... Thumb Castle? Are you going to participate in the fights? You are sincere about playing with your life so cheaply. Oh, this is not what I was looking for. I am truly troubled by the king's love of fighting. Just the other day, the saber tiger and a traveling soldier were forced to fight. That soldier suffered many wounds. Well, this is a good place to know where it is, because I bet you there's a crest here. But, uh, I kind of want to rescue Rolando first. I'll check out that gate in a second. It's a locked door. We'll check it out right now. I'm so glad all the teleporters take me to locked doors. I wonder if you win this fight if you get the gold key. That would be very tempting to try. I don't really want to have to redo my ship voyage if I die terribly, so let's just save it and see what happens. Oh, this king knows how to party. Oh, this just leads you to the rest of the actual town. That's nice. Well, we'll see about fighting a saber-tooth cat later. All right, the Stormy Knight ship carrying treasures. Additionally, the Echoing Flute was among those treasures. Mmm, that sounds useful. Weapons! What do we got? Same weapons at the last town. Magic Armor. So, I mean, it's got to be better than what we've got on, right? It must have some magical effect. Why would you call it magic armor if it wasn't better than clothes? So hopefully that actually gives me something, like healing while we walk, or uh, uh, protection from spells, or fire, or something. I don't know. Alright, there's your vault, that's great. 
The armor of Gaia. Here we go. We've, we've heard about the lightning sword. Now let's learn about the best armor. I hear that the old man of the weapon shop around here is in possession of it. He just has it. Legendary armor just sitting in someone's cabinet. Um, just throw stuff away. That's the key to success. Just throw everything away. That's great. I'm a fortune teller, sure. Ugh! West, you'll find what you seek in the West! Believe or not, it's your choice. But get out of my face. This is like a guard locked up behind some poison swamp. That's interesting. That sure looks like it should be a locked door. Anyway, actually, you know what this is? This is probably where that teleporter took us behind the castle. Or, that's... Bottom left is right where the teleporter is, and then that's the locked door. And then we can steal the Gaia armor from this merchant. That's what we want to do. Alright, this is a great castle. Still, I don't want to die, but let's see what happens. Oh, I just love it when men fight. This is the battle square. You're standing in the hero's stadium. So, you've come from... You've come from afar to Durkendal Castle. I'm the king of this castle. If you entertain me, I will certainly reward you. Want to try? Then step into the middle of the stadium. And fight! The Saber Cat! He's probably going to kill us, right? I don't even have my second character. Let's see if we can sap him. 29 damage. Good start. Alright, we did drop his defense significantly. Good time for heal more. That was really easy. Okay. I'm sorry for killing your cat, man. He wasn't very strong. I almost feel bad. <laughs> Splendid! Wonderful! You killed my pet! Ah, oh, here you go. Have a moon crest. I thrive on the thrill in action. Wow, that guy's terrible. What a terrible king! Here, have my national treasure for killing my pet cat. Well, that's two done. Three to go. Alright, the fortune to teller told us to go west. Um, still got our sad music. I know we're supposed to be finding the Yggdrasil tree. I'm just gonna kill these things. We should be okay. Alright, so what would be west of us on the map? I also can sell those evasion clothes. I should do that at some point. So, there's a couple little islands to the... Well, there's an island to the north I should maybe check. And then an island west of that little island. And then to the west on the big continent, I think the southern half of... Well, it's hard to point out on the map, but... Moonbrook is kind of... Over there. <laughs> but there was a mountain range that blocked us from going south to the big circular volcano area. So there might be something in between the volcano area and the mountain range. Or one of these islands might be what I'm looking for. So let's try the islands first. Do a little bit of super speed here for sea travel. Sea travel's nice and all, but I always feel like it's a little bit slow. Particularly when you're trying to record an episode. Okay, so what is on this weird little island first? Nothing. And then north is another little island, I think. It also seems to have nothing on it. Oh! Oh, wait, is this... This might have been the first shrine south of our starter castle? Yeah, okay. It's another one of those gold key areas, if I ever remember. And then that means my home castle is just north of here. We're getting around to these islands. Starting to remember where stuff is. So let's go... There's also a couple islands north and east, right at the top of this uh, continent that we'll have to check. But let's go west first, because I'm still looking for the Yggdrasil tree. That's kind of the goal here. I don't know what this is, but we'll check it out. Oh, we're going underwater. This sounds important for something that they haven't told us to do yet. I'm pretty sure they'll direct us here eventually. This becomes a pretty recurring theme in the future, yeah. Nothing is here yet. Just remember this area for later, this is important. Funny that we just stumble across it, but yeah. 
In future Dragon Quest games, you'll need an item to even open these kinds of areas up. But, uh, that's fine. Alright, let's get some bearings. I'm just gonna say that every time I open the map on with a ship. And let's get some bearings. Alright, I'm gonna try the island to the southwest. And then I will head northwest from there. If I can line this up. This looks like the island I'm looking for, but... Also, we're getting more dangerous encounters down this way, I think. Definitely. Um, please let me escape? Yeah, that was... that was terrible. Okay, so that's an important island that we can't get into yet. So, remember for later... Just make a mental note, everybody. It's really important. This island and okay, the two that are kind of in the center of the eastern sea, let's just say we have to remember to go back to them later, okay. And then I don't think we've really been in this area here yet. Let's see what we fight. Let's see how dangerous an Udra is. It gets killed in one shot, I like it. Not that much experience. So we're probably about the right level for this area then. And I believe, yeah, this is just south of that uh, tower. This is the area, area I was trying to tell you about. I don't want to fight millions of demons, monkeys, and blood hands. You can't blame me for not wanting to fight millions of demon monkeys and blood hands, guys. Uh, no, let's try to flee. Increase. Oh, that's the spell I need. That'll be the actual um, defense boost spell. That's a good one. Okay. Okay, Firebane. Wow. I guess next time we find two sorcerers, maybe I'll just try to kill them. Because uh, the running away thing didn't work. Not very well. And there's nothing here. So, that's not so good. Hmm. It's possible if we head south of Alephgard, we might be able to get into this little inner sea area. There's certainly an island in there. But if there's bridges sort of on the northern end of this little tiny sea, then the ship won't go through it. Dang. I mean, the crazy old lady told us to go west. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in this little section. Unless it's just hidden, you know. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but... Oh yeah, these are the guys I'm supposed to be killing. <laughs> and of course they got their increase off first. That You know what? I don't believe it. Firebane, that's way too strong. That'll be the upgraded Infernos, but wow, that does a lot of damage. Alright, at least we can still kill them, even with their defense up a little... I think I don't want to be around this area of the map anymore. This, this is a bit scary. And our ability to escape is not looking so good. Alright, um... <laughs> it's a really good thing Linda has the heal more spell, because man, this would be terrible without that. Okay, um... Next? Where do you suggest we go next? We could go south. Actually, south feels good. There could be something on the bottom tip, sort of southeast of... Well, we're pretty clear that the volcano-y looking thing is Rome. With the snowy ice areas. Uh, we'll save that for later. There's also something west of that. That I haven't tried to work my way up into. Let's go south. There's some islands and sort of smaller areas south here, maybe, that are easier to explore than big, long... Stretches of land. If we can just find the Yggdrasil tree, then we can have our party again. Okay, so down here... Like, I sort of remember this being a relatively dangerous encounter area, if, if I remember correctly. So I don't want to be too crazy, but... I'm not 100% sure. 16 MP on the girl. 
would be nice to find a little town down here. Okay, so there's a couple little islands I want to check out. I mean, that certainly looks suspicious, I gotta say. You found the leaf of the world tree! Oh, of course, look how easy it is. So this was maybe the first time they had a world tree in a Dragon Quest game, and they never actually made a world tree map, I guess? I Well, that'll show me. Um, but anyway, that'll be enough to rescue Rolando. In the future, I think even Dragon Quest 3, but certainly 4 and up, uh, games with the Yggdrasil actually have a map on it, with generally elves and climbing a tree. So, okay. Good news, we can use that. Also, remember to come back here to get an extra one for reviving, but this will get our party set up again. Basically go straight east. Yeah, we'll get that done today, for sure. Also, let me... This is one of the... Yeah, okay, cool. That's one of the, uh, the Traveler Path spots. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah, there's the islands. So I wanted to check... Oh, look, a town! Perfect! I wanted to check out these two little islands, so... This is the one, I think, that takes me back to the starting castle. Laurasia, I think they're calling it. And then this is a mystery island town. Honolulu. Welcome to the fisherman town, Zahan. Right now, all the men are out fishing. Mm. Well, we'll talk to these people first, and then we'll head back, I guess. When at last it's spring, my lover Luke returns from fishing. Oh, Luke. Yes, it's a town of only women. I hope you don't have a problem with that. This, this is not a woman speaking. And this is also not a woman. The ships of the men of this town were attacked by monsters and lost at sea. I came here to learn about the situation. Oh, gods, don't talk to me. That's fairly expensive. Well, I tried. Let's go talk to this strange guy back here. In the town of women. Pursuing a man named Rogue Fastfinger, I came upon Teppa searching until I stopped here. Fastfinger is a thief, but I just heard that he was thrown into jail somewhere. Well, we've not had a lot of luck breaking anyone out of jail yet. While the men are out fishing, the women are busy at home taking care of all the children. Hey, guess what? In the sea somewhere, there's a cave surrounded by coral! Yes. My aunt says you need the moon fragment. When I grow up, I want to be a fisherman, just like my daddy. I want to be a fish. There's a song about wanting to be a fisherman when you grow up. You might not know about it. Uh, I am Tashishun's wife. My husband is very fond of animals, especially dogs. However, three winters have passed, and my husband still doesn't return. I think if your fish, if your husband is away for three years at sea, he is dead. Sorry, people. Uh, I don't think he brought enough food with him for three years of ocean voyage. That barking dog over there just pulled my sleeve. That's strange. What could it be? Probably a strange old fisherman that turned into his dog. When the moon fragment illuminates the star-filled sky, the waters of the ocean become full. That is an ancient legend that is handed down in this town. Well, we did find an area with a cave surrounded by coral or rocks. Maybe that has something to do with it. Welcome, item shop. Buy something. Don't buy anything, it's a waste of money. Alright, dog. Wow, 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 wow. Really excited dog. Alright, what's over here, doggy? Wow, wow, wow. Should I search the square? What? You found the gold key? Yes. Blue obtained the gold key. And now, he why would you be sad? Give this dog a cracker. This dog deserves a cookie. Okay, well that opens up a ton of stuff. That is really good. Uh, we're not going to do that at this exact second, but yes, gold key opens everything except uh, prison doors, I think. And why would you build a church with deadly death steps everywhere? You should turn back now. It's very dangerous to walk around the Temple of Death. 
This is the worst temple in the world. Just die if you try to go into it. Anyway, gold key. I call that a win. Alright, so there actually isn't a uh, saving church thing here. At least not one that I want to walk to. But uh, yeah, good catch. Good catch, Blue. Let's head back and rescue Rolando. That was supposed to be the theme of today's episode. And although we had a bit of a sidetrack and got stuck in an arena match. Um, and got a gold key. Uh, you know, we can go get Rolando now. Don't want to go too far north. Uh, is this the right area? I might be a little bit off track here. Hold on. Rather than randomly bumping around, let's check the map. We are too far south. Okay. This should do. Man, I love having the super speed. I hope you guys don't mind super speeding around so much. This saves so much time. Alright, Rolando. We're here to save you. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I'm so dying. Yeah, whatever. Again, I don't want to accidentally use this thing and then have to go pick it up again. Wait, he's in my party. No, he's not. <laughs> Clearly you have been cursed, yes. Weird. I don't know why they... They showed his status screen down there for a second. Like that. Maybe when you're standing... Oh, maybe that's it. When you stand right next to him, you can see him here. Maybe... Actually, that's neat. I didn't... I didn't know that. But maybe then, while Rolando is dying, um, you can actually pull items off of him. In fact, that makes sense, because if he had, like, the world map and the silver key, while he was... Or you could actually have the gold key already, too. You don't have to come here first. Rolando could have all your key items... And you might have a hard time getting around unless you could pull the items off of his inventory. Eh, that's kind of cool. I didn't even know that. That's that's actually quite cool. Blue ground up the leaf of the world tree and fed it to Rolando. What? Rolando's complexion started to look a little better. Rolando has recovered. Well, thanks. I feel much stronger. It was wrong of me to tell you not to worry. Thanks for worrying. Also, there's some lines. Good job, fan translators. Something really important. I've learned to be a stronger prince in my time on this bed. Also, I have unlocked my ultimate special attack. The spirit bomb. I'm charging it right now. Um, Lou, you're my favorite. I love you. Everyone subscribe to Blue Ankylo's channel and give him many likes and um, high fives. Has anyone uh, ever tested this fan translation? Because this is not good if this just goes on forever. And I hear the little text verb. It couldn't go on forever, could it? Please don't wreck my game. I'm starting to feel like we're stuck in an infinite loop. This is not good. Because I need Rolando to beat the game. Can't do it with just Blue and Linda. There's no way. I don't want to try. I don't want a solo party challenge here. Let me try... Uh, this, is, this is totally going to help. But let me... Uh, you get to see some troubleshooting live today. Let's turn it up. To something ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous. Wow, that's good. That's a great sign. Like, I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just holding down super speed. And, uh... Well, eventually it'll all be white. I think... Something has gone wrong. Oh, that's really not happy. Because I can't... There's nothing I can do to get out of here. And the problem is, if this happens every time I talk to him, then I can't get him to rejoin. Oh, no. I don't want to have a bugged Let's Play. 
I've never had this happen before. Now, to be fair, I think I've only played through the fan pet translation patch once before. But I mean, this has been... At 30 times speed, we probably let it go for like an hour already and nothing's happened, so... When was the last save? Well... Is this right before I used the, uh, herb? Okay, I did save it right before I talked to him. That's good, because that opens up one of my few troubleshooting options here. Which is, well, first let's slow it down. But I have noticed sometimes when you're using emulators, um, in case you're new to the scene, um, sometimes using save states causes weird problems in the, uh, the, the normal save file. So let's try making a clean save. Can't save there, of course. Gonna make me go to the other priest. Alright, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna make a fresh save. And that's great. And then we end the game, and in fact, we'll go full on reset. And then instead of using the save state, we'll load it from the normal save file. Which sometimes fixes strange problems like that. So let's see if we get it. Continue. So like, essentially this load is clean. There is no save state, save state loads included on this one. So let's go find out. Frame skip usually makes no difference, but uh... Sometimes the save state causes problems, once in a while. I mean, the fact is, they had the wrong text for who's speaking here, which always made me a little bit suspicious. But uh, anyway, let's try that leaf again. Alright, that looks good. He looks better. He recovers. Thanks! I'm feeling much stronger. So stronger I spirit bombed your cartridge. Oh no! Oh, that's really bad. Well, shh. I don't know what to do now. I'm out of I'm out of troubleshooting options. The next step is like literally to find a different translation patch and then reapply it to this ROM and hope that the save file doesn't get ruined by doing it. It probably wouldn't if I get another IPS patch that fixes it, assuming it's compatible. Then we could try a different translation, assuming there's another one out there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to end this episode here, and I'm gonna have to take some time to think about how I'm gonna get around this. Because I certainly don't want to end the series here. I gotta, you know, we've made, we're probably a halfway or more through the game now. We've got two crests out of five, making good progress to hunting Hargan down, level 18 or 19. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging in there, and uh, I'll see if I can get this straightened out uh, for our next episode. I mean, I'm so excited. I've, I got this cool uh, gold key and everything. We've actually got, like, some lots of places to explore now. We've got a lot of the world is opened up with the gold key. Tons of things to check out. We've got some sort of plan for getting Linda a, uh, a magic robe. We've got... Actually, with the gold key, I might be able to get the Gaia armor for blue. we got lots of things to do, but I need Rolando. Alright, folks. That's all for today. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Wish me luck, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, hopefully this is not the last episode in the series. See you later, guys. Have a good day.